So we talked about three different models, and we talked about osmotic pressure model, and we talked about concentration polarization model. But when we talked about the osmotic pressure model, we used uh, the concentration in the bulk as if that was the concentration to use. But that's not the case, right? Because you have a high concentration in the membrane. The concentration polarization model, model taught us that. So how combine these two? Well, uh, if the retention is 100%, it's rather simple to combine them because then the concentration in uh, the permeate will be zero. And the concentration polarization uh, model gives us this simple equation, J equals the mass transfer coefficient K times the nat natural logarithm of Cm divided by Cb. And uh, the delta pi uh, will only be uh, the osmotic pressure on the feed side since there is nothing in the permeate side, uh, which means that delta pi uh, becomes uh, RTCM, uh, which now you think this is the sum of concentrations, right? Uh, and we can use this equation up here to calculate CM uh, as CB times uh, e to the power of j divided with k. Now we can put this into our uh, equation. So j now equals delta p minus rtcb e to the power of j divided with k and then divided with viscosity and uh, the membrane resistance. The problem with this equation is that we have j on both sides and uh, in the compendium there is a rather elaborate uh, example uh, where I do some calculations with this. Now, one thing to solve this is simply to put this into computer and iterate uh, because you have them on both sides and there is no way we can analytically get a nice solution for this. Now, there is another kind of model which is called the gel model or the fill model. And if you think of the concentration polarization, uh, you know that Cm, the concentration near the membrane, is larger than Cb, but surely there must be a maximum value for Cm. I mean, Cm can't be infinite, right? Uh, so if the transmembrane pressure delta P is so high that the flux becomes independent of delta P and the retention is 100%, then we get this equation here. Uh, J infinity equals the mass transfer coefficient times the natural logarithm of CG, CG uh, divided with CB, where CG is this maximum uh, concentration. And we can plot uh, this J infinity against the logarithm of CB, uh, and you get uh, as the slope minus uh, mass transfer coefficient, and you get the yell concentration down here as the maximum uh, membrane con uh, concentration near the membrane. Uh, so what this means is that what, what could happen here is that if the concentration increases, something might fall out of solution. It might be something uh, uh, that is not easily defined, uh, like an amorphous structure of something. Uh, and this equation we will actually use in the lab.